Peak St. Luke's video update. Across the United States this weekend, many families will be celebrating Father's Day, giving thanks for fathers and cousins and grandfathers and uncles that have helped raise them and been so important in their lives. As we think about fatherhood, we often think about fathers as the tough parent or the disciplinarian in the family. We, pray, we play into stereotypes sometimes about fathers not showing their emotion or being distant and removed, whereas mothers we often think of as kinder and gentler in their parenting. The psalmist this week, as we continue our sermon series on the spirituality of the psalms, invites us to think about our emotions in a much broader way. The psalmist urges us to show our feelings, if only to God and not to one another. We're invited to pray out our griefs, not to keep it bottled up in those stereotypes that fathers often live into, although fatherhood is changing and those stereotypes, thankfully, are coming undone. What does it mean to pour out our grief, our sadness, our troubles before God? We all turn to God, hopefully in prayer, when we face a crisis in our life. But how do we use those prayers? How do we find a practice in our life that can help us heal from grief and lament, that can help us to show our innermost feelings, the, the hurting places inside of us, let them be known to God so that God can work healing in them. That's what we're learning about this Sunday at St. Luke's as we continue to talk about the spirituality of the Psalms. And of course, we'll be celebrating all kinds of fathers, not the stereotypical ones and the stereotypical ones, all the kinds that we have in our lives. See you Sunday at St. Luke's.